When you're working in Revit, oftentimes you're going to want to find that you want to transfer standards, families, views, schedules, different things from one project to another. Uh, so instead of recreating your work, I'm going to show you five different ways in this lesson about how to move your standards from one project to another. So here we're looking at the welcome screen uh, on the uh, project file that you guys get with the course. Uh, and I have a blank new project. So the first thing we're going to do is just use cut and paste to move some stuff over. So I've got uh, two different text types and some line styles here that we created earlier in the project or earlier in the lesson. If I want to move these over, I could just select them, control C, come into the next view, come to the next project and paste them. Uh, it's important to notice that or to note that in this I'm on a I'm on a sheet and here I'm in an actual floor plan level one so the so the scale is is off but you can see this text type this text type and these line styles are now in my project if I went to say draw a new detail line you can see those line types are in here now where they weren't a minute ago so it's pretty easy to just copy and paste some things that works really well with uh, individual text types and line styles that you might want so the cut and paste method works fine if you just want to copy say one or two text types or line types that you that you want to use but if you want to do this more globally if you've set up all your standards in one project and want to bring them to a new project the better tool will be transfer project standards so you need two files open you need to have your original file that has everything in it open and you need your new project which you're going to transfer into with your new project open go to the manage tab find transfer project standards and here you can see a check with all the different things that Revit will transfer into the new project. And a lot of these things we'll never touch. But this is really great for transferring things like view templates, like we created in the last lesson, your dimension types, your text types, line types, materials, wall types, uh, floor types, uh, all, that, all those different standards that we have set up, those will transfer over. Uh, things like individual families, like windows and doors you've loaded in and detail components, those won't transfer. We'll talk about that next. But your global project parameters, things you've set up like that, will transfer over. So copy from, and right now we only have one project open. If you have multiple projects, just make sure you get that right. Um, and I usually do check all, but you can also just check individual things you want. Here we got browser organization. We set that up really early in one of the first lessons. So those things will transfer over. So we'll hit OK. And we'll say new only because a lot of those things that we just saw were Revit defaults that we haven't touched and probably won't even touch in our project. So there's no reason to copy them over. So we'll hit new only and we'll give it a minute to think. And we get some warnings that some things had the same name so it, it automatically got renamed. And nothing really happened. But look, if I go to detail line to draw a new detail line, all those all those line types that we set up in one of those early lessons are now in here. If we're we're in our first floor plan, if we go to view template, that architectural plan that we set up is in here, right? So all the view templates, all the stuff that we that we created, the visual stuff we created is now is now all in this project that we can use. So the next thing I'll talk about is transferring families uh, from one project to another. So some families like walls, roofs, floors, these things are built into Revit. You can't really have a Revit project without those families loaded in and then you edit types within that. But most everything else you load in, so your door types, your window types, any uh, custom detail components, anything like that you have to load in the, into the project and those will not transfer when you do transfer project standards. So we, if we have some family in one project that we want to put into another project, the best way to do that is to uh, go into the family and then and then load it into the new project. So for instance, I've got this family of these two silhouette people. Uh, so it's one family with a type for the man and a type for the woman. Uh, I've got a tutorial on YouTube about how to do this. I'll put I'll put the link on the resources page or uh, in the YouTube uh, description. Uh, but if we want to bring both of these over, the best way to do it um, would be to select the select one of them, do edit family then load into project and choose the new project we want and we'll hit OK. And then I'll put that in there and now if I select them I have access to the two different types. If I had selected say just the man or just the woman and, and did copy and paste it would have only selected that one type and so it's not a big deal here with these two people it would have been easy to select them but if this was a window or a door with many different types um, and you wouldn't have actually been able to select all of them in one view uh, Selecting it 
editing family and then loading it into the project is the best way to move families from one project to another. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is inserting views. So this will be things like uh, sheets and schedules. That's what this is really good for. So schedules, we actually could just select them, copy and paste. But say we don't have access to all the schedules in one view, right? I've got a couple schedules here on this sheet that I could easily select, but a lot of times your schedules can be on all different sheets. You might want to transfer over um, the title block with this whole layout and everything. So the best way to do that will be to insert views. So if we go into our new project, we'll go to insert, we'll go to insert from file, and insert views from file. And then it doesn't really matter if your other project is open. We have to uh, navigate to it anyway. So go find where your um, go find where your Revit project is that you want to transfer from. In this case, we're using this baseline file. We hit OK, and then it gives you the option to to select these different things that you can transfer over. So I'll just select, say, the welcome sheet, and I'll transfer these schedules over. Um, I'll take that drafting view. I'll even I'll take everything just to be safe. We'll hit OK. We'll hit OK. Now that stuff is in this project. So I've transferred again all these line styles, this drafting view, I've transferred the title block which would have come over with the transfer project standards. But now I've got the whole title block set up exactly as it was before. The only thing you can see is different is the schedules are not filled out because this new project doesn't have any doors or windows um, or a lot of sheets in it. You can see the only sheet that I do have is the 00 welcome and the CS02 schedule sheet. But if we start adding doors and windows and rooms, these schedules will then automatically populate with the same fields that we set up earlier in the previous lesson. So inserting views is a great way to transfer uh, things like this over into your new project. And the last thing we'll talk about is another method of cut and paste. But uh, the only thing that I don't know how to transfer over without cutting and pasting is legends. Legends are a great tool. They're one of the few things in Revit that you can put on multiple sheets without having to make duplicate items. So a legend will be something like here we've got our, you know, our project abbreviations or maybe your general floor plan notes or your general elevation notes, something you want to put on multiple sheets. Uh, you can use legends for just about anything. You can use them for, uh, say, your wall partition types, that type of thing. But there's really no way of transferring one legend to another project without copy and pasting it and recreating it. So we're in our we're in our baseline project here and you see I've got a legend called abbreviations. The view scale over here is one inch equals a foot. So what I'm gonna do is select this stuff, control C, then I've got to come into our new project. I've got to go over to legends, do a new legend, I'll give it the same name. I'll set the scale to be the same, which was one inch equals a foot, and I'll paste and you can paste it anywhere and now this legend is in our project so I didn't have to recreate all of it but it was a little bit of a manual process of copy and pasting it. So those are five methods of transferring standards, families, and different project elements from one project to another so you don't have to recreate this stuff new every single time.